Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Now joining me is Miss Rodeo Texas 2016, Lisa Lagashar. I want to thank you for being on this morning. I know it's kind of early, but <laughs> like I said, I know you're used to doing appearances like this, so I want to thank you again for being here. But just go over it with us. Tell us what it's like to be Miss Rodeo Texas. I know you have a full agenda filled up, lots of dates on your calendar, <laughs> yes, lots yes. of bookings that you have to do, and you have some exciting events coming up, especially around the NFR. But tell us a little bit about the Miss Rodeo Texas pageant and what it takes to be involved in it. Oh gosh, well first <laughs> off, thank you for having me on the show. But um, being Miss Rodeo Texas or competing for Miss Rodeo Texas is a pageant similar to what you would see in a beauty pageant like Miss America, but then quite a bit different because we're required to ride a horse. Of course, we're <laughs> cowgirls. We represent rodeo yeah. in the Western way of life. And so part of the score is horsemanship, and that's draw horses. We don't bring a horse. We don't provide a horse. We go through multiple interviews um, of, with the judges. We need to be knowledgeable on the sport of rodeo as far as history, current happenings of rodeo, current happenings of the world, the beef industry, and then everything and anything you could possibly think of you never know what you'll get asked so it's it's definitely a trying week but it's worth it and it's very realistic as to what the job is like when you win the title of Miss Rodeo Texas which is a great scholarship pageant they give away 26,000 this wow. year they gave away $26,500 in scholarship to the winner alone not mentioning the teen got 7,000 and then the runners up also got some money so I so I know that yes this is a, a opportunity that provides young people the chance to do something with the scholarship money. I know Beth Bryan and I were talking about this because yes. she was Miss yes. Rodeo Texas <laughs> a few years back and she was just telling me this really is a great opportunity that girls that are involved in the rodeo industry or agriculture, livestock, and really just want to you know take it a step farther. They're not compete in a beauty pageant but it still is beauty with some brains and yes. some hard work that's involved. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> Appearance is only 25 percent of the score so <laughs> there's a lot more to it but Oh, sorry. No, Go no, ahead. Yeah, but, well, I know you have the NFR coming up, so you're going to yes. be competing for Miss Rodeo America. Tell us about that. Tell us what the road to competing oh, for that's gosh. like. Um, so being Miss Rodeo Texas is, keeps me very busy. Mm -hmm. I'm on the road all the time traveling to different rodeos, agriculture events. I was at the Cowgirl Hall of Fame inductions wow. here last week. <laughs> and then in Austin yesterday at the Texas Department of Agriculture for a family land heritage ceremony. But um. Besides being busy traveling, preparing for Miss Rodeo mm -hmm. America has to do with a lot of studying, riding as many horses as possible because, you know, how I mentioned a second <laughs> ago that we have to ride the draw horses at the pageant. Um, and then going to even, even going to modeling class because we do have to walk a runway. And oh I was born on a dairy farm. <laughs> I, I rode horses from the time I was a little kid. I was a little tomboy. I definitely, the beauty part was something I really had to work on as far as that goes. But, and preparing's been a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. So in three weeks, uh, I'll start competing for Miss Rodeo America in Las Vegas. Well, what is some advice that you'd give young girls that are watching at home that want to, you know, be you one day? What's something you would tell them? I have to say, if you believe in yourself, you can achieve it. I mean, there's never anything, never a dream too large or too small. Um, set a goal and work hard and achieve that goal. Well, I want to thank you for being <laughs> on this morning. We're all going to be rooting for you when you're in the NFR. Thank Go you. Miss Rodeo Texas. <laughs> and I want to thank you. thank you again for being here. When we come back, world champion auctioneer Ralph Wade. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 